All right, so in the last video, uh, we introduced what symmetry was and also talked about uh, what point symmetry is. So symmetry basically around a point. And so now we're going to talk about the different elements, symmetry elements in point symmetry, okay? And also define some nomenclature that's used for these different elements. So luckily, you know, as you might imagine, in three-dimensional space, there's only a finite number of different types of symmetry elements, okay? One of those is what's called a rotation. I mean, it's a rotation that's pretty self-explanatory. We give it um, a slightly more specified name. It's, this one is called a proper rotational axis. Uh, and there's also improper axes, which we'll talk about later. And we use this nomenclature C. C stands for any proper rotational axis. Uh, and N, and N tells us how many degrees we're going to rotate it. And how it's defined is uh, N 360 degrees divided by N, and it's gonna be a clockwise rotation, okay? So if you had a C2, N equals two, uh, that would be 180 degrees rotation, which is shown here. Because 360 divided by two, N equals two, uh, is 180. So that would be a 180 degree rotation across some axis in a clockwise direction. So you can see here from the bottom here, water, for example, is a molecule that has a C2 rotational axis. I'm going right down like this, right? And if you rotate this, uh, this hydrogen will go to this hydrogen and this hydrogen will go to that hydrogen. You get back the same molecule. It looks totally same. It's unchanged. And you, you were rotating it through the oxygen atom, so that remains unchanged. That's a key thing to look at. Uh, anytime you have an axis, uh, the atoms or whatever points are in that axis, those atoms will not change positions. Right? Imagine if, if, if you're having trouble visualizing this, and we'll, we'll use um, a website a little bit later to, to help you. But imagine you're holding a string through this, and you're spinning this molecule right, through that axis. So uh, a C3 axis would be uh, 120 degrees, 360 divided by three. Um, methane is an example of a molecule that has a C3 axis. There's sort of a tripod on the bottom of the uh, methane molecule. And so there is a C3 axis going right through uh, actually each of these, but the easiest one to visualize is right here where my cursor is. And so all these bottom uh, hydrogens are going to rotate. Benzene, you might be able to see, has a C6 axis, okay? So uh, I mentioned about, you know, visualization is really gonna be a key uh, uh, in this course. And, you know, my experience with this, I, I've taught this course a number of times, taken similar courses a number of times myself. And my experiences with this is that people are just, um, have different abilities to, to visualize. And you can get better at it, you know, just like anything, you can get better at it. Um, but really the way to get better at it is to practice and to visualize. So there's two ways to do that. One is to go online and use this website that I'll show you um, by Otterbein University. It's the best website for visualizing point groups um, and symmetry elements uh, for this course. The second option is to get a model. And uh, I will allow you to use models, um, molecular models, uh, during the exam. Uh, it turns out that you'll get so good, or you should get so good at visualizing these molecules that you won't want to bring the models to exam, the exam, and nobody ever does because it takes too long to build the models, right? Uh, so it ends up being a waste of time because you'll be able to visualize it quite quick, quickly with practice. So let me just show you this website. Uh, here's the URL here. Uh, it's, it's really a good, good website. Um, so here's cyclobutane. You can see there's all sorts of different molecules. We'll talk about what these point groups mean in a future video coming up, right? But here's cyclobutane, right? It's four carbons. So you can move it around. Uh, and then it goes through and it gives you all the different symmetry uh, elements. So you might be able to see that this has a C4 uh, uh, symmetry element. And we can actually go here and if we check this box, we can, we can look at that. And then we can hit play right here. And you can see how, right, the hydrogen, you did a rotation. 
okay? And you can see how the hydrogens um, and the carbons go into one another. So this is a very useful um, rotation, uh, very useful website. There's a lot of other different symmetry elements that you can also use this website for to help you visualize. Okay.